Hello everyone. Um, I got just got this uh, Roku Express uh, from Amazon. Uh, it was about thirty dollars, and uh, this is my uh, Panasonic Viera forty-two inch plasma TV. Bought in twenty thirteen. It's about five years ago, and uh, the device here is right here, the Roku device, and. If you plug it in, this is not a 4K TV, and um, if you plug it in directly from the Roku with the USB cable directly to the back of the TV, um, on some televisions uh, like mine, uh, I had this HDCP issue, and uh, most of you probably know what that is already by now. Uh, it's supposed to be a 2.2. Otherwise, it won't. Uh, it won't basically work. Uh, you can't stream any media, uh, especially YouTube. So I had a problem with it, and so I was trying to figure out what to do. And so I bought this Mono Price Blackbird 4K Pro HDCP con HDCP converter 2.2 to 1.4. It's about forty dollars. But uh, I'm going to return this because I don't need it. And uh, what I did first, what I wanted to do first is um, try to see if it would work with an HDMI splitter. And thank God it did work. So what I did is I plugged in the Roku HDMI cable into the HDMI splitter. And then I had to connect it. Backside of my TV into the HDMI uh, port one. Um, port two wouldn't work, so you have to plug it in HDMI one. And uh, a lot of people said on Amazon that you need a 4K TV even if it's not HDCP 2.2 compliant. But uh, I know all this technology is a headache, but uh, it does work uh, right there. And I tried it out. And there you go. Let's uh, go back to the YouTube. Um, before it would just show a blank screen, purple screen. It would say HDCP unauthorized video. That wouldn't work. But uh, now, as we can see, I tested it out and it works absolutely great. So if anybody tells you need a 4K TV, you don't need a 4K TV. If you have a regular HD. TV at 720p or 1080i, it should work absolutely fine. Uh, see, here's a video here. I'm just going to click on it. And there you go. So as you can see, it, everything works absolutely great. Uh, hopefully, I won't have any issues in the future because... Uh, you know, I was kind of doubting myself that if this wasn't going to work, I would have had to get the Amazon Fire Stick. But um, uh, it's working fine. So this HDMI splitter, it was only $8 on Amazon. And uh, get it within the next day if you have Prime membership. And the Roku is a, a good device. It works good. Uh, try the HDMI splitter. Make sure you're connected to port 1, HDMI port 1. And then you won't have to spend $40 on the uh, converter. Oh, the converter also worked also. But uh, I wanted to try to see if the uh, HDMI splitter would work for it first. And it did. So there you go. I'm going to save 40 bucks. Put this back and return it to Amazon. And uh, there you go. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask.